everyone it's John and today's video we're looking at Warhammer the mass combat fantasy role-playing game yes I've got to keep looking at it because I'm so used to saying other things it's not Warhammer fantasy battles no that wasn't what it was called back then this is it this is technically first edition and boy is this a different animal than what it has mutated into today so let's go and have a look at what's in this beastie. Okay, we are having a look at the very first edition of Warhammer, the mass combat fantasy role-playing game, is how the first edition of Warhammer was pitched. And there was no fantasy battles. No. No Warhammer Fantasy Battles. This was Warhammer, the mass combat fantasy role-playing game. And it was by uh, Brian Ansell, Richard Halliwell and Richard Priestley. Yes. So my copy, I think, has done really, really well, considering I think this set of rules was... Uh, uh, when was it? 1983. There were three books in this, which we shall see shortly. And then this was what it all contained. So I'll let you pause the video and have a read of it. There were two uh, special scenarios of which each one was in a different book. So uh, these are the three books, volumes one, two, and three. But there was also a special offer which I've still got and kept so you got a special figure I believe and uh, you got um, the renowned hero dwarf uh, what was he Thorgrim Brandin Branadin oh who knows I can't pronounce anything anymore you can see it on the screen you can pronounce it however you wish so that was the special offer. And I actually thought there was another... I thought there was a sheet that came in here for the uh, characters that you could um, that you could play with. But I must be, uh, I think, mistaken somehow. But anyway, let's have a look. So as you can see, my, my books are in fairly good condition. Yes, I put yellow post-it notes in here just to cover up that, look, when I was young, I stuck my address on everything. And uh, But as you can see, 1983. Ziggurat of Doom scenario was in a book one. So, yeah, as you can see, it's in really good condition. A lot of this artwork uh, came from the, uh, like I think these figures here, these ones here came from... I think the Citadel uh, catalogue, because uh, they represented models. I could be wrong, but they do look the same style of artwork. So, uh, yeah, so as you can see, the book, a lot of the stuff, you know, very, very simple. Very simple indeed. So, uh, the uh, book I think I'm quite happy with. And it goes on about tabletop battles and then fighting in dungeons, flying creatures. And then we have the Ziggurat of Doom, which is only one, the picture itself, and then that. And then it's got a creature list, which are not a lot of creatures, by the way. It sort of expands, gets bigger with the, uh, with the next edition. So, uh, as you can see, just some really, really basic creatures available, and they go through to the very end. So that's only 50 pages for book one. Yeah, so that was the mass combat, fighting in dungeons and monster types. So book number two deals with, and I do apologise for the sh shine, book number two is for magic. And it has a complete magic system, spell, and wizards. Now, look, I've not played this for so long. Yes, yet again, notice. 
my address and everything covered up. But yeah, it's uh, you know a nice enough simple. The artwork I like the artwork. It's a simpler, simpler times. Simpler times. Spells. You know, a lot of I suppose a lot of people probably say, look, that's a lot of wasted space. It could have been done better. But listen, this is the eighties trying to uh, apply today's standards to the past I think is hypocrisy at the best so uh, yes yeah, so anyway that's all of that you uh, have some sorry it's very hard trying to turn things when you've got a uh, <laughs> and you've got enchanted objects at the very end so it's uh, so how many pages did this one go for this went only for 38 pages so that was uh, volume two. Volume three is for character advancement, skills, magic items, and the heroes. So, yep, there we go. Hide in my address again. Have an introduction, the player characters. So you've got their skills. And uh, so there's a sample character that's there. Um, character advancement. So there's all sorts of information there. As I said, I've not really looked at it. We moved on. I've kept this because, well, it's nostalgia. It's history. It's um, part of what I like. And there's uh, Red, Wake, Red Wake River Valley, which is, I think, did this introduce the... Um, I think it introduced Norse. Or was that in the later one? Who knows? But anyway, it's a, uh, you know, love the style of artwork. You know, we don't sort of get that now. But yeah, anyway, well look, there is there it is. There's Warhammer the mass combat fantasy role playing game or Warhammer first edition. Look, thank you very much for watching this. This is um, part of my collection. It will never part. Uh, sadly, I didn't get Forces of Battle for some reason. Um, and uh, Or I did have it... No, I've had some flood events and I have lost so much of my collections over the years and uh, and that, that it's it's really sad. But this is still here and it's still in really, really good nick. And um, so, look, if you've played it or you have memories of, uh, of the past, uh, look, share them with me. So till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.